Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about you, how they view you or this connection? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And we'll also look at what they wish they could tell you. Okay, spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Libra regarding the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time what's going on in their connection at this time what's going on for libra their connection at this time this will be a reading for those of you that are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind okay wow we have the hermit reverse and the emperor uh virgo energy with the hermit and aries energy with the emperor and then the King of Swords reverse. So with the Hermit reverse and the King of Swords reverse, I'm getting no contact or someone that has retreated, cut off communication. You could be dealing with someone who is another air sign like you, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could also be deception. We'll have to clarify and see because sometimes this could be that someone's hiding something from you, literally keeping you in the dark. So we'll see what that's about. Tell me about Libra's energy. What is Libra's energies in this connection? I'm just gonna set down your energies here and your person's energy on the other side. Tell me about Libra's person. The person they're thinking about connecting with at this time. What are their energies? You can uh, flip the energies if they resonate more for you, Libra. Okay. Bottom of the deck, I'm just curious. The Empress, wow, we have the Emperor and the Empress. Can I get some, um, I'm just gonna put down some oracles for the overall energy between you. Can I get some insight spirit for the connection, the overall connection between Libra and this person? What's the overall energy here between Libra and this person? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like there's a, a conversation that hasn't happened that needs to happen here. Someone being open, someone being honest. This is a very important conversation. What else can you tell me about this connection? What else can you tell me about this connection between Libra? and this other person courthouse okay so this is like an oh okay so for some of you this is like the conversation to have um, maybe it's an ultimatum maybe this is a conversation that will decide something very important regarding your connection uh, the courthouse is like official matters things that are done officially um, making final decisions final judgments negotiations contracts so this could be the talk about like committing to each other um this could be the talk about like your future together I, i'm getting like you know someone needs to come clean or bear their soul <laughs> but i'm not sure why so let's get to clarifying tell me about the hermit reverse why is the hermit reverse here why is the Hermit reverse? Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Hermit reverse? Well, this person's worried or anxious about an outcome. Yeah, so this person, they may be um, feeling like they're out in the cold right now. Um, they may be feeling like they've been abandoned or are struggling somehow. And that's why they've retreated or cut off contact or why they've ghosted or something like that. And I think they're worried, you know, either they're worried about, you know, coming back in and facing the music or they're worried about being shut out. Why is the King of Swords reversed? Why is the King of Swords reverse? 
Wow, the tower. Some sort of revelation. A surprising, unexpected event. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. Someone could have um, said something they regretted. Someone could have deceived you and it cost a tower. Um, tell me about the King of Swords reverse. What's happening here? Justice. Wow. Libra energy. Well, there you are. Showing up to your own reading. So with the tower and, and justice, I'm getting like this courthouse. Uh, it's, like, it's like the final judgment. It's like something is completely final. Um... It's terrible, but it's right. <laughs> this could be somebody like, like I'm picturing someone like putting down the gavel here. And it's like a huge, I don't know, it's, it's almost like a, it's a huge deal or the, or the consequence is huge. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. Can I get some more insight please? On the King of Swords reverse. Wow, the moon, Pisces energy. So there were definitely, this was like, I feel, a huge reveal. This could have happened months ago, but it's still affecting the connection now. Um, if this didn't happen months ago, it's like it's been building up and now it's here. It's an explosion. Tell me about the Emperor. This could be something that someone kept to themselves or hid from you. Um, and it could be anything. It could be something small, something major. But the thing is that at the end of the day, the... How do I say this? Someone received this information or the fact that they have been deceived or that they didn't know this, it's a big deal to them. Even if it is a small lie. Tell me about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Usually the Emperor kind of steps in, uh, assesses the situation, makes difficult decisions, stabilizes things. Why is the Emperor here? The Chariot. Oh my goodness. Cancer energy. Tell me more about the Emperor. Why is he the Magician? Okay. Tell me more about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? Okay, Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So the Emperor is definitely making something happen. This is, I feel like, oh, but you know, I'm getting, yes, Eight of Cups after the Eight of Wands. I was going to say, this Chariot, I'm getting someone leaving. Like, I'm not getting someone arriving. <laughs> You know, and showing up and being like, hey, I've arrived. No, I got the sense that this was someone leaving the situation or going in a whole different direction. And there's the Eight of Cups with the Eight of Wands. This is quick. This is fast. Maybe this was too much for the, for someone to handle. Maybe this was a problem they couldn't solve. Maybe instead of working on things, this was too much. They didn't want to deal with it. So I'm getting a couple of messages. This could be that your person ran away, ghosted, and didn't want to deal with it. It was too much. Or this could have been you saying, I'm too good for this. I don't want to have to deal with more burdens or obligations than I already have. And I don't want to have to, you know, I, I made my final decision and I'm done. I do see both. Tell me about this tower. I just want to see if there's anything we can get with the tower. What can you tell us about the tower, Spirit? What can you tell us about the tower? Death. Scorpio energy and then the King of Pentacles. So some of you, this definitely brought an ending. This tower will end things or change things forever. A very small number of you, you found out this person was married and that was a deal breaker. Justice, I'm, I'm picturing a deal breaker here with Justice. I don't know. Let's see how you feel about each other. But that's just what I'm getting so far is that you're not, 
You're not into this. Someone's not into this, and I think it's you because you showed up. I mean, justice doesn't care about feelings. Justice doesn't care how you feel about something emotionally. They're going to do what's right for them, or they're going to do what's fair. What else do we need to know? Tell me about Libra's energy. What else do we need to know? Restoring balance and falling leaves. So time changes everything. So something's changing for you. Um, when I see change with balance, it's almost like this the fact that something is balanced for you is a change. You know, it's not what normally has been the case. For others of you, making a change, a transition in your life is the way that you're getting balanced. Tell me about this person that Libra is dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? Happy ending. Tell me more about this other person. Coming together. So this person is hoping for a happy ending here. They're hoping to perhaps reunite with you or talk to you. See what else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know, Spirit? Did I hit the tripod? That was my bad. What else do we need to know? For Libra in this other book. Feel free to flip the energies, Libra, if they resonate more for you. I can't let you go. I'm having doubts. For some of you, I feel like this is what you're hearing. You're hearing, I can't let you go, and you're the one having doubts. That's kind of what I'm getting. But for others of you, maybe you are having doubts about letting this person go. Tell me about this other person. You matter to me. I still check up on you, and I regret what happened at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So this person's having regrets. So I have a feeling that they probably were the ones that caused the tower and want to fix it. Um, whoops, sorry. I don't mean to always be hitting the tripod. I'm sure that's annoying. So let's look at your energies with the tarot. On your side, we have the Hierophant and the Five of Wands reverse. Taurus energy. Okay, so I have a feeling that some of you just want peace. You want you don't want to be fighting anymore. You don't want to be involved in the drama. You're too good for this. I mean, I still get that energy of you being kind of above all of this. Or at least just, you just want things to be done right. You know, whether it's reuniting with this person or breaking up with this person, you want to be, like, it's like you want to do it like adults. Let's look at this person. King of Pentacles shows up again. And the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like they've had some sort of a loss here. Um, when I see a King of Pentacles and a Five of Pentacles like this next to each other, I think of someone that's downgraded, or they've been they've they've been kind of pushed off their pedestal. They've been degraded or downgraded here. They could be appearing like a King of Pentacles, but inside there are Five of Pentacles, something like that. So let's see. Let's see. Can we get some insight, please? into these energies tell me about the five of wands reverse tell me about the five of wands reverse king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy tell me about the five of wands reverse ace of wands interesting seven of swords at the bottom of the deck though hmm Seven of Swords and the Fool. Let me get one more. Can I get one more for this King of Wands? 
Can I get one more for this King of Wands, please? I'm trying to figure out who this is. Okay, Six of Cups. Can I get one more for the King of Wands? Queen of Pentacles. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is not going to resonate for all of you. A very small number of you are having a custody battle. Something to do with kids or something to do with assets. Others of you, I think the majority of you, I feel like there's this is them coming to you using the past in order to resolve the issue. We can be happy again. We, can, we don't have to, things don't have to end this way. Um, think about, you know, what we've built, what we've created. Think about the stability that we have together. Um, but I think a lot of you are thinking about not having to deal with this anymore. Yeah, I think a lot of you don't trust this person. I just picked up the deck and I, for some reason, the Seven of Swords, this little stack was left here. Tell me about the Hierophant. Some of you are married to this person or, you know, you want to do things right. But I feel like doing things right also means you're still dealing with this in a way. Um, like, I don't know. I just got an energy of someone that they want to just pick up and leave, but that's not the right thing to do. Tell me about the Hierophant. Queen of Cups, Two of Wands, High Priestess. I think emotionally like your emotions are somewhere else you you're, you would already have if, if you did what you truly wanted to do based off of your emotions you would be making very different decisions right now let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments tell me more about this higher font energy tell me more about the higher font yeah, the world, Ace of Wands. I feel like a lot of you are thinking about new, something new. I, for some reason, I'm not picking up that this is a new beginning with this person, but who knows? Maybe that's the case. Maybe you want to be with this person and try again and have a new cycle with, you know, with this person that you've been with. But I feel for, for a lot of you, I don't know, something in you has changed. You've changed in some way. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Hmm. This person is going to still want to talk to you and uh, kind of break down this wall. Yeah, they want a second chance judgment. I feel like some of you, you gave this person an ultimatum. They probably didn't believe you. They might be calling you. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah, they're not doing well. Three of uh, Swords, Five of Pentacles, pain, heartbreak, disappointment, Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person feels like they are stuck in their pain or um, they can't see a way out of the mess that they're in. Yeah, they're going to go back to, I feel like whatever happened between you and this person, it's not that this person cares about you any less. I think they still care about you. I think they have serious, um, I don't want to say feelings, but it's almost like they never imagined this would happen. So it's like their dream is kind of being shattered here or their fantasy is kind of being shattered because they thought they would be a king of pentacles but they're not they're 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 not they're not um used to being a five of pentacles is kind of what i'm trying to get at what else do we need to know what else do we need to know spirit regarding these energies between Libra and this person what else do we need to know five of yeah fire ant is kind of like the five of wands and then the starfish is kind of like the moon um, what you see, there's more to than meets the eye. So this is like a cover or an illusion. There's more underneath the surface of, of what's happening. And I think this tower revealed it. And all that we are dealing with now, Libra, is some sort of drama or fallout. 
the fallout from the drama, you know, like there's just so much going on right now in this connection. And I feel like what's going on between you, the energies between you is one of you is kind of retreated into a shell or or ha is processing things on their own, doesn't really want to talk. And then the other one is kind of like, let me fix this. Let me take care of this. Um, so, you know, it's, it's like I'm wondering if you're on the same page with this person. This does not necessarily have to be a romantic partner. This could be a family member, friend, but this is just what I see for you in terms of the person that you're dealing with. I feel like you, you've changed your mind about how you want to deal with this situation. And there might be attraction here. There might be love here, but it doesn't erase what the main problem is. So that's what I have for you, Libra. If that resonated for you, uh, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that like button if you enjoy my readings or want to see more readings from me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. I'll see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.